Uh, Mark Messier is with us, Mike, getting ready for a game two tonight in the Stanley Cup final. He's going to be in the versus three. Yeah. Yes, he is. It was the game one. Now he's there for game two. And we join. Uh, he joins us here on uh, Sports Radio 66 Yes and ROW. Matt, good to talk to you. Chris and Mike in New York. How are you today? Thanks very much. All the people from Versus say hello. All uh, right. Nice to talk to you, Mark. How's everything? Doing great. Thank you. And a very good first game, Mark. I happen to get a lot of this game on Monday night. This was a, a different kind of first game, I thought. I thought both teams went after each other right away. A lot of action. You know, they were physical. I, I thought for us, sometimes there's a feeling out process. Especially the way the uh, ba hockey is now with these divisions playing other divisions so sparingly. But I thought this first game was a tremendous game one as far as no filling out process goes. Give me your thoughts about that. No no question about it. Uh, at this uh, stage of the, uh, the playoffs, there's not a lot of time to feel out uh, each other right now. they got to get right after it, which they did. I thought Ottawa came out uh, with a lot of adrenaline. But uh, soon after the first five or six or seven minutes there, uh, the reality of the nine-day layoff set in there. Their legs looked heavy, and they never really seemed to get on track the rest of the game. Anaheim, on the other hand, played their game that they played all, all series there. They played uh, the same way, very aggressive, very strong, uh, took some penalties, uh, were able to kill them off, and able to score big goals at timely time of the game there. And uh, They won the, the way they won all, all playoff long. Mark, let me divert you from that uh, Stanley Cup final for a second to the Ranger news uh, about Maloney and him going to Phoenix and everything else. How does that impact you? Well, it hasn't really impacted me in any ways whatsoever. Uh, as we all know, when the story came out that I was actively seeking the, the general manager's job, <laughs> it uh, didn't quite, uh, it's not quite true. Uh, I, I hope at some point to, to get back into the game at this particular point. I don't know if I'm quite ready for it and what it entails and the amount of time and work that it uh, requires, uh, especially with a young family. Um, I'm kind of sitting back and analyzing my own situation uh, daily and, uh, and weekly and monthly. And uh, as of right now, uh, you know, I don't have any intention of, of getting in at this particular point. We talked to Leachy when he retired the other day, and he made a point that he didn't think he'd stay away long, and we mentioned you too. So maybe you guys, uh, as good of friends as you are, maybe you guys are going to team up and run a franchise, and one of you runs it, and one of you coaches it, and uh, be involved for a while. Huh? Well, you know, I, it's, it's, <laughs> I, I, I can see him getting back as well. Gravy's there doing some work with the Rangers now. It's exciting. Uh, opportunity uh, for all of us to, to stay involved uh, with the Rangers uh, at some point, but uh, again, uh, it's going to be up to everybody to kind of figure out where they're at in their own lives with the families that we all have, and there's a tremendous uh, time requirement that requires to do a job and do a good job, so all those things have to be really balanced out. Uh, Mess, does Anaheim have a lot of guys who are on a team that lost to the Devils? I know the goalie is. Anybody else, or is it pretty much a new team from three years ago that lost to the Devils in seven games? Pretty, uh, a lot of new players uh, uh, that they have there. You know, the big difference, uh, obviously, is Pronger, um, you know, coming in here. Uh, just just unbelievable uh, player. Uh, controls the game. Uh, Niedermeyer, obviously, uh, is a tremendous player. Uh, you know, the young kids that they got right here now are, are just incredible players. Guy, I really like Getzloff. I think he's a, a guy that... Uh, is a is a perfect playoff uh, type player. He plays in every situation of the game. He's big. He's strong. He's tough. And uh, when you got a big, strong centerman like that that can dominate the game the way he the way he's doing right now, it makes a big difference for a team. And how about the Ottawa big line that killed Buffalo and killed everybody so much in this postseason? What did they do in that first game? What did Anaheim do? Give me your thoughts on that. Ottawa big line there in game one in this series. Well, obviously they didn't have the game that they, they wanted to have, but there's a tremendous amount of pressure on those guys to carry the offense for Ottawa. Um, I think uh, having said that, uh, having the nine-day layoff really hurt them. Uh, I know myself having played, they like to be playing uh, uh, regularly in Austin. That's when you feel your best as a player. So I think that hurt them a bit, but they're going to have a tough time against this Ottawa team. The Ottawa team is very good defensively. they got the, obviously Niedermeyer and Pronger leading the way, but those other guys, Boschman and, and Sean O'Donnell and these guys, uh, it's going to be tough for them to uh, find ways to score. But if they don't find a way to score, uh, it's going to be tough for Ottawa to win. Is this a well-balanced series in your mind? I like the, I like the balance of the series. I like the te both teams in the series. I, I like the way they both play. Uh, I like the way Anaheim uh, plays a lot. Uh, Randy Carlisle is a hard-nosed kind of guy. So is Brian Burke. They got the team playing a tough brand of hockey, an aggressive uh, brand of hockey, which is good for a viewer. And, and really, uh, Ottawa's got a lot of skill that plays a hard game as well. So hopefully, uh, you know, 
if the game tonight is as good or better than it was in the first game.